this summer, we had four churches come down from the States to help us with the church here. We went to the parks and we shared the gospel with the people there. We used puppets, we did face painting, uh, we had a huge parachute that was super fun, draw the kids in. We just had a ton of fun and we were able to share the gospel with a lot of people. We helped do some building improvements in the church and meet up letters. We did some building projects for the church in Misigata. Continue to pray for Ismail and Monica. God has allowed us to spend more time with them and can start evangelistic Bible studies. In September, I was able to go to Costa Rica and Nicaragua. We got together with pastors both from Costa Rica and Nicaragua, and we met up in Nicaragua and talked about what their situations were, how we could help them, and uh, the Lord is opening up doors there. And we're excited about what this means to continue a relationship with La Gracia, the church that we helped to start in Nicaragua. One of our main focuses now is not just church planting, but equipping the church to equip its people. The vision for La Fe here in Ecuador is to be a multi-congregational church. In other words, that we're always multiplying, always starting new churches. So we have a goal that in the year 2022, to be able to launch another church. Well, how do we get to that point? We have to equip people to be able to be prepared, to be leaders, to be a part of the work, to send out uh, to start that new church. So in September, uh, just a couple weeks ago, we, we launched we launched uh, a training for La Fe uh, here in Cuenca, but this is also happening up in Quito, it's happening in Costa Rica. It's, our responsibility is to help equip people, as we find in Ephesians chapter 4, that we would equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. Thank you for praying for us. Please stay in touch.